University Technology Malaysia, UTM, is well known for their expertise in robotics. UTM produces robots in many shapes and sizes depending on needs. UTM is also known for championing many robot competitions such as the Robocon at the international level. From air to land and now water. Yes, robots are also needed in the water. They can be used for cleaning, collecting water samples in hazardous and cluttered environments such as during floods or when monitoring ocean pollution. Let's hear it from the aquatic robot expert, Dr. Atif. Hi, Adiba. Hello. Hello. Dr. Atif is from Faculty of Engineering as well as he's the director of Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics, UTM. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, I've heard about ROV. Yeah. What is ROV? Uh, ROV stands for Remotely Operated Vehicle. Mm. And we use this remotely operated vehicle underwater to use it uh, in the function that you have just explained earlier. Okay. And our main focus in our lab, we use this ROV for cleaning functions and also for inspection functions. Uh -huh. We have developed this ROV since 2014 and uh, until now it's around six years of development. So we started with phase one until phase three until now. So hopefully we can, we can go for the commercialization activity later on. You're going to show me, right? Yeah, we're going to show you later. Let's go. Okay, thank you. So now we want to go to inspect this robot, right? So we can yes. go forward. Uh -huh. Okay, so we can see now that robot is doing something. Mm -hmm. Then we can go down a little bit. So going down, it will be going down. So we can see now, now this uh, we are facing each other. Mm. Yeah, so we can see what the ROV Pleco is doing. Okay, you can try. Mm. So like a remote control car. Right. So that's why we call remotely operated vehicle. So for example, if any emergency search and rescue operation, yes. so then we can use um, the robot um, together with the uh, bomber for example uh -uh. and we can uh, uh, hopefully uh, utilize the systems uh, to do the inspection faster. So how low can this thing go? Does it need to be... Yeah, we can go that now. I think this is around 5, uh, five meters. The span can be expanded until 100 meters to 300 meters. Oh, wow. And it can go down until 100 meters. We are now uh, talking together with WWF uh -huh. and then they would like to see how these systems can be used uh, in Kudat. Oh, uh, in Kudat, yes. Yeah, 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 there are many turtles there, uh, yeah. so we can observe the turtles and see the corals as well. So the image that we see here, yeah. we can train some of the images like for example turtles and then from the, number, uh, from the turtles images we can count them. And also we can identify that this is turtle type A, turtle type B, mm -mm. this is how we use AI. Uh, so AI to, do, to learn the images and later on, I mean the to train and then later on we can apply it uh, to recognize some of the different turtles. Wow. Yes. What you have seen are just a few robots invented in UTM. The fact is that UTM has produced many other types of robots, including autonomous vehicles, factories automation, virtual robots, precision engineering, and many more. Listed in the world's top 100 best universities in engineering and technology, you can certainly gain skills in the growing fields of robotics by joining UTM and make an impact in the future. See you in UTM. Bye-bye.